morning. This is Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to ELP Brief. Well, we're at a law conference in Orlando today and uh, here by the Spanish Moss. Just wanted you to see that. It's so Kind of cool. We don't have that on Arkansas. But uh, we wanted to cover uh, a report that we ran across recently that's kind of disturbing, but it's interesting at the same time. So this is by U.S. Senators Bob Casey and Pat Toomey and they're talking about uh, nursing home ratings that's on the medicare.gov website, right? Right. This is a group of facilities that have been listed as special focus facilities there in this program. And it says many documented cases of abuse and neglect occur in facilities affiliated with the federal special focus facility program. The SFF program is designed to increase oversight of the facilities that persistently underperform in required inspections conducted by state agencies. There's federal law that, that sets standards for nursing home care. And as stipulated by the federal law, the SFF programs targets those facilities that substantially fail to meet the required care standards in resident protections afforded by Medicare and Medicaid programs. On the list of SFF, Special Focus Facility Program, there is 88 facilities that are listed. And if you go to medicare.gov, it's, it's a, a website where they compare all the facilities <laughs> across the United States that participate in Medicare and Medicaid programs. And it, and it ranks them. They've got a star rating system. The SFF facilities are denoted on there. However, the senators <clears throat> revealed in this report that there's also another list of nursing homes, an additional 2.5% of the 7, 15,700 facilities in the U.S. qualify for the program because they are identified as having persistent record of poor care, but are not selected to participate in the SFF program. And my guess is because there's probably not enough money to go in and do the surveys of all 488 of these facilities. So these extra 400 facilities are listed as candidates. So what all of this means is you can go to medicare.gov and there is a new designation on there if the facility you're looking at is on this list and this is uh, you know kind of like in high school if you got on the principal's list that wouldn't necessarily a list you'd want to be on this sff list is not a new one you want to be on but if it's uh if it's on that uh, medicare.gov if it's got an sff rating on there on the facility you're looking at that means they're on a list that's not good so look at that and, and you know if you're if you're comparing facilities this is obviously not the only thing to look at um, you know maybe one of the least things to look at because facilities change hands a lot and you know if they change hands and change names the rating may not not be on there because it's a new facility technically a new facility and they get a clean record also you know a lot of them if they change ownership they may clean up their act uh, substantially so maybe while they were in a bad situation a few months ago they may be substantially improved now the best test there there is no uh substitute for just going and looking you know touring several facilities going at different times of the day talk to different resident families that have their loved ones there ask them how they like it how what care they think their loved ones getting and just take a tour you know i did that recently went to a, a small town and i visited with a friend of mine who i knew that her mom had been in the nursing home and and she proceeded to tell me all about the care and the different things that went on in the facility and how it had changed from the previous administrator and it's uh, it, it was it was so eye-opening because i got to talk to a family member so that really can make a huge difference yeah just uh, go look
and uh, talk to people. So that, that's the biggest thing. Thank you for watching today. Hope these tips help. If you uh, find yourself having to put a loved one in a nursing home, uh, never a good time. It's an emotional time. Extremely. But I uh, hope these tips help you select the right facility. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life.